If you're anything like me, you think of Alaska and instantly envision snow-capped mountain peaks, raincoats, and cozy boots. But packing for a cruise to Alaska is nuanced and somewhat difficult to plan for. Why? Because the weather varies greatly from month to month and even hour to hour. So it's best to be prepared for the changing weather by packing a wide range of clothing and gear. Today, we're sharing our Alaska packing list and some do's and don'ts to help Help you master your Alaska cruise packing game. But don't worry, it's not that complicated. Now stay to the end of the video to learn how to get access to our Alaska packing list and more Alaska packing resources. And remember, all of these resources are completely free for you to enjoy. We'll put everything in our Alaska cruise shop on Amazon too at amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash cruise tips TV. If you're new here, I'm Sherry with CruiseTipsTV.com and I'd love to invite you to subscribe to our channel. Through over 20 years of experience booking cruises and excursions, I help travelers with cruise planning, packing, and destination tips so you can create your dream cruise. All right, let's start with our Alaska packing list and do's and don'ts. Our first do, You've heard this one before, pack layers. You've heard it over and over again. Layers are king in Alaska, but what the heck does that mean? Typically, a day in Alaska can go from drizzly and cool to sunny for a few hours, then perhaps brisk and breezy, and then back to drizzly. So it's best to arm yourself with the following types of clothing layers for port days and for days on the ship. Are you ready for the list? Jeans or lightweight pants t-shirts and lightweight shirts. Cotton is always nice and breathable. Sweatshirts or sweaters and hoodies to be worn over a t-shirt. Warm socks, wool is really nice. Sneakers, preferably water resistant ones with a little traction or broken in hiking boots. A baseball cap for rainy days. Sometimes a cap is all that's really needed. A light winter cap or beanie and some gloves. A light winter scarf, that's mostly for glacier days. A light rain layer with a hood. A light warm jacket, preferably with a hood like a puffer jacket. If you can find a water resistant, warm and cozy jacket that combines those two things, that's great. But the lighter the jacket, the easier it is to layer and remove when you get warm. So that's why we recommend two jackets, like a puffer and a rain layer. And as an accessory, don't forget to take a backpack for shore days. Now you will also want to pack a swimsuit and some flip flops or some kind of a deck shoe, like sandals for your Alaska cruise. Hot tubs are actually one of the best kept secrets on an Alaska cruise and a great way to experience the fresh, unspoiled outdoors while staying warm. All too often we hear cruisers say, I thought it would be too cold for my swimsuit or I left my sandals at home and I had to wear my sneakers on the pool deck. Some more do's for you do make room in your suitcase for these next two items. First up, we strongly suggest a travel size set of binoculars and a great camera for your cruise to Alaska. Now for us, a great camera can mean the latest version of our iPhone. Truly, the cameras on the iPhones are amazing these days. But if there were ever a time to bust out that fancy lens or that DSLR camera, Alaska is the time. Wildlife spotting, distant waterfalls, and glaciers also call for a nice, high quality set of binoculars. Travel size compact ones will do the trick, but if you're not worried about weight or bulk in your luggage, pack whatever binoculars you have on hand. Also, do pack sunscreen. The summer days in Alaska are long and the rays are no joke. A smaller bottle of sunscreen for your face, neck, and arms can be a skin saver in Alaska, especially if you're on the water or a glacier where the sun's reflection seems more powerful. We typically approach sunscreen packing for Alaska differently than we would for warm weather destinations like the Caribbean. Rather than waterproof, sandproof formulas, we just focus on a high quality, easy to apply formula to cover those exposed areas of your skin. Like I mentioned, face, neck, hands, arms. You'll find plenty of these in our Amazon store in the sun care and toiletries section. Okay, now it's time for the don'ts of Alaska packing. First up, do not overpack dressy clothes for dinner. Alaska cruises are typically more casual, even at dinner time. Formal nights are still a thing, so gown up or tux up if you want to. But remember, on the mass market cruise lines in Alaska, jeans, 
nicer t-shirts, collared shirts, and even pants and sweaters are perfectly fine for most dinners. In fact, on our last two cruises, I'd say most women didn't wear dresses to dinner unless it was formal night. It was much more commonplace to see nice pants, jeans, and sweaters, even in the dining rooms in the evening. In fact, some folks came to dinner in their port day clothes. It's really okay to do that. Another don't, don't overlook bug repellent. Mosquito repellent isn't likely something you'll need on the cruise ship, but if you're planning on venturing out on a hike, a bear walk, or any other nature-focused activity, pack a small amount of bug repellent. This is really critical if you're out on hiking trails and things like that. Also, don't leave your shorts at home. <laughs> I have a story for you. On our first cruise to Alaska back in 2005, we arrived to a major heat wave in our embarkation port of Seattle. We're talking 90 plus degrees Fahrenheit, and none of us had packed the proper clothing for summer weather that you'd more typically find in Southern California. So what did we do? Well, my mom, myself, and my husband headed to the mall, and we all bought a pair of shorts. It was pretty hilarious. Cruising to Alaska and we're shopping for shorts. But since that little incident, we've never left for an Alaska cruise without a single pair of shorts in our suitcase. Just one pair of shorts. You never know when you're going to have an 80 plus degree day, even in the last frontier. Another don't for you. Don't pack poor quality sunglasses. The sun in Alaska can be bright and fierce, but that doesn't mean you have to spend a lot of money on sunglasses. Costco, for example, sells wonderful, high-quality brands, often polarized, and Amazon has a great selection as well. You're going to find some in our Alaska store. Also, do not pack non-water-resistant shoes. Rain or, you know, drizzle is pretty common in Alaska, and that leads to mud, puddles, and dirty, soggy shoes particularly if you're planning an active day like exploring the trails at Mendenhall Glacier or taking the tram up to Mount Roberts where you can hike around. It's best to pack a comfortable outdoor shoe or sneaker that's somewhat water resistant. We learned this the hard way when we all packed our favorite running shoes for our Alaska cruise only to find out that those stylish air vents that make the shoes breathable on a walk or a run also allow water in. Soggy socks are no fun. Now, we're not recommending you pack stiff, brand new hiking boots here. That can actually be an uncomfortable mistake, but consider the material your shoes are made from and keep water resistance in mind. Now that we've gone through the do's and don'ts, we will tell you how to get access to that packing list we mentioned earlier in the video. Simply click on the Alaska Packing Do's and Don'ts article in the video description and you'll find a free downloadable packing list right there that includes this information and lots more. Now before you go, we have a few other Alaska resources to help you fully prepare for your cruise to the last frontier. In the description below, you'll find an outfit of the day video for Alaska, info on the best times to cruise to Alaska, and of course, our Amazon cruise shopping store. There we have a full section on Alaska cruise packing, as well as stuff for your stateroom, motion sickness, and lots, lots more. Okay, now you're ready for your Alaska cruise. When you return, let us know how it went for you. Is there anything that you wish you'd packed? Anything you didn't use? Drop us a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe if you're new here. And until next time, friends, we'll see you on the high seas. Bye-bye.